So, while all of us were making our uh, new year, new me goals, thinking we were all going to start fresh in 2020, go into a new decade, we were going to lose weight, we were going to we were going to hustle harder, we were going to make that coin, we were going to make money moves, we were going to do this. January decides to roll up and go, hold up, wait a minute, and we were like, what? Let's turn this month into a year! Yeah. Let's talk about all this. It's Weekly Sushi! Philip. Philip, it's February and we haven't filmed a Weekly Sushi yet. What are we gonna do? Philip! Philip! This has been where I've been spending most of my time the last uh, mm, month and a half, two months. <laughs> I need to try to figure out. Mm, let me try balancing on some pillows. A little momento. Philip, I'm borrowing your blanket so I can elevate my tripod. <laughs> the least you can do, Philip, since, you know, you weren't very much help with that intro. Cats, right? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, it actually looks like I have one of those aesthetic rooms. But the secret is, is you can't see on the other side of this camera, which is a complete mess. Hello, welcome. Are you new to this complete mess that Kinda of looks okay. Sorry if you guys wiggle a little bit. We are on the bed. Um, if you're new, huh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button because you're all wicked awesome. So yes, this mess is weekly sushi and I'm trying to um, do more weekly sushi. This is my rainbow blanket. It's cold, it is cold. Um, hence the chronic plane flare, but um, Hello, hi. Weekly sushi is just me trying to do something weekly, even though I, I can't always do this weekly, but I'm trying to get past that this year, starting now, and just do it, even if we're just in bed for the day. And usually in weekly sushi, for those of you who are new, I just talk about how I've been feeling, what I've kind of been seeing, basically on social media, because that's, some of the only human interaction I get besides the one or two friends that come by to visit me, my mom and partner Patrick, um, and uh, my cats, which are crazy. And I've heard this saying since I was a kid that like, the five people you're closest to are the people that you'll start to mimic or be like the most. And well, three of those, for me are cats. So sometimes I wonder if like me being tired from my pain really isn't me being tired from my pain so much as I've just been hanging around by cats too much. So yeah, hi. Yeah, my hair is like a mess and everything, but you guys are used to that, so. Um, yeah, so what do, what do I wanna talk about? Well, when I wanted to film this originally, like four weeks ago, um, I wanted to talk about my goals for the year, and I'll kind of go through those, but I also wanted to kind of just talk about January too, because it was a really weird month. I know I saw a lot of people on Twitter, like everybody on Twitter or Instagram going, wow, January was a year. Like it just seemed like one person said that and it caught on and everybody was saying it. So apparently January was a year. Okay. Yeah. I kind of could agree. I could agree. It's almost harder because we all start January with this idea that we have the, we have goals and we're starting fresh and it's, you know, it's a new year when really it's not really anything new. Time's not real. Time's an illusion. We have all these expectations that 
just because the clock refreshed at midnight and we're on a new year, everything's going to be different and life is going to be better somehow. And I think, I know that January is also a really hard month. I've seen statistics where it says that January has a higher rate of, you know, um, people permanently checking out, as I would say, and um, depression and whatnot and it's just just a hard month I don't I don't know what it is I'm sure someone scientific out there knows but I don't <laughs> yeah I spent most of my time in bed December was hard Christmas we stayed home for Christmas Christmas was pretty good we still have our tree up in the living room it's just it was hard I just feel like you know, like, things are always hard for me because I have the chronic pain and I'm always dealing with that. And I feel like for me, like, I even probably set myself up, too, at the beginning of January. Sorry, for those of you new, I tend to go on tangents. I have a lot of brain fog. I ramble a lot. So, welcome. If you don't know what's going on, that's okay. When I set goals for the beginning of the year... Especially in the past, I always set goals. There were things that I haven't been doing, like wanting to lose weight or my dream is to get on a schedule and be consistent with my YouTube channel, which has been really hard for me because of my chronic pain. And I feel really bad about myself because I used to be, before I got hurt, one of those people where I set a goal, I did it. Ever since I... Uh, became disabled and had all the back stuff I that's not been the case most things I don't accomplish most things are so hard I give up because I just don't have the energy to do it and people you know want to say just push through it you're being lazy well when you physically can't do something for yourself you're not going to accomplish any goals and it sucks and it's very frustrating and it makes you feel really bad about yourself especially I feel like nowadays there's just ma mentality of you can just anything you want you just gotta want it bad enough and you can do it and you can accomplish it and be positive be positive put it out into the universe it'll happen if you just say it and do it and you just gotta want it bad enough and that's not true that's not true for some of us like I could want to fly off my roof and I could put it out into the universe and I could try and I could you know be positive and do all these affirmations and like you know visualize myself flying off the roof I'm not gonna fly off the roof by flapping my hand like it's not gonna happen and so it's frustrating for me because like it's frustrating because I internalize a lot of those just do it, just never give up, just keep going and, you know, make it happen. The make it happen mentality and I came to realize towards the end of the year that I need to reevaluate the kind of goals I set up for myself because some goals are just not going to happen because of my back and the pain I'm in and that I need to reconfigure my goals so that there are things that I can control. Like before, you guys who have been on my channel forever know, I have been trying to get my channel monetized or get enough subscribers to where I could do something like that for over four years. <laughs> and I've been teetering at 140 subscribers for, year, for a long time. And that's not something I can control. Like, I feel like I could consistently probably still be putting out videos. And I could still, like, be working on my editing game and my content or whatever. And change things up. And it doesn't do anything. And there's probably a lot of things I can improve on. But it's really hard for me because I'm disabled with the chronic back pain. And some days... I can't even get out of this bed, which is one of the reasons why we're here. That's not really a good goal for me to have. 
to get monetized on this channel. Let's be real. Because that's not something I can control. So, um, I decided to focus on, like, you know, trying to do sushi like this. Even if we're just sitting here in my bed chit-chatting together, you know, like friends. That's something I can do. Another thing that I have tried, um, I've started working on was back when I was, like, in high school. I used to draw a lot and do a lot of sketching and whatnot. And I used to do a lot of, like, pastel, chalk pastel like drawings and things and then when I got into the harder science courses and got into nursing school I didn't have time for any of that and then I had to drop out all of that and I've been trying to manage my health ever since but here recently I've been trying to get back into drawing so even on a really bad pain day even if I'm just sitting here in bed I can draw I can sketch and, and I have this long-term goal that you know maybe eventually I could save up and get like an iPad or something and do the like sketching on the computer and do like graphic design and design some really cool t-shirts and that would be awesome you know something to sell and that's a really long-term goal but that's something that I can make smaller goals to work towards and those are smaller goals or things that I can do now that I can control. The other thing is, you know, like weight loss. I've, weight loss has been hard for me. It's been hard for me for years. I kind of think I know why. And I'm going to be going back to the doctor to explore all that. But weight loss, weight loss, I, I not only want to lose weight because I want to look, I want to look good, but, um, for my back because it's I've lost weight in the past after I got hurt and people say that losing weight for your back pain helps and I, I guess it did help a little bit but it's not like a cure-all FYI but I need to lose weight for my health not because I want to not just because I want to look good and so I've been trying to think of little things that I can do that would help contribute to me being healthier because I, I don't like saying weight loss because I feel like there's a lot of vanity tied to just being weight loss. Like to be honest, I, I need to eat healthier so I can be healthy and live a longer life. Those of you guys know, both of uh, Patrick's parents, they're gone. They're not here anymore. There's a lot of reasons why, and a lot of it was lifestyle choices. And they both passed away in their 50s. Early 50s. I know I'm only 32, and a lot of people don't start thinking about these things until they're, you know, in their 40s and 50s, when they start having major health problems. And maybe because... I've had major health problems since I was 23 and I've had, you know, the loss of people. Like I've lost quite a few people over the last, you know, few years and it's scary and it reminds you of a lot of things that are more important than just like material possessions and vanity and looking good. I don't have kids, you guys all know that, and I'm not gonna get into that. I don't have kids and I'm never gonna have kids. I don't, I'm not gonna have grandchildren. I don't, I'm an only child. I don't have any brothers and sisters. So I don't have nieces and nephews. Some days, it feels like the only people I'm gonna have in my life are my mom and Patrick you know those are that's my fam that's my my close family that I live with like me and Patrick aren't gonna have kids we're not gonna grow this big family it's gonna stop hold on any of you who have a Canon what is this a G7 X Mark II you guys know about the stopping thing it only records to like some like 20 some minutes or 17 minutes or something and then it like stops file sizes. 
anyways so like it's after I you know my mom it's just gonna be me and Patrick hopefully I'm able to meet new people and I have friends and stuff but you know like it's, it's gonna be me and Patrick one day and I'm scared you know um, if I'm scared about if it's going to be me left behind or him left behind. I know this is getting dark. I don't want to talk, get too much into this, but so what I'm getting at is all we have is time together. I, you know, all we have is what we have left together. And I want to try and maximize that. One thing I can do to do that is eating healthy and managing my health better another thing i'm going to be doing is i'm getting over my anxiety and i'm going to be making my doctor's appointment here knowing <laughs> that that'll probably be one thing i will have when i'm older cats they seem to find me everywhere cats like we even got all these feral cats that find me outside but anyways like, it just seems like the the feral cats we do feed, like, they bring new feral cats, and we just got all these cats everywhere. It's crazy. But anyways, um, in the end, time time is all we have, and by making the small changes and small adjustments, you know, I'm hoping that it'll, those small little goals that I can control, sorry, no, he distracted me there. And I feel like I'm starting to get on a tangent with all this. I think what I mean with my goals and what I mean by what I'm, all my tangents and what I'm trying to say is, is that I've really been trying to focus on things that are small that I can control that I know eventually will add up to the bigger goals. Hopefully. Because... I'm tired of failing at these other goals and not making it. And I feel like maybe I could be more efficient or more successful if I try these smaller goals now. So, hopefully, hopefully, um, I'll be able to eventually get it together and function like a normal person by making these small changes. I don't know. I just... I'm just tired of failing. I'm tired of failing at everything. Like I said earlier, I feel like since I got hurt, I have failed at everything I've tried to do. And I'm trying to reevaluate, well, maybe my goals, even though they, even though they're goals that most people could probably easily do, I gotta remember because of my chronic pain and my disability that my limitations are different. And I think that's been a really hard thing since I got hurt was that I still put all these expectations on myself that I would have before I became disabled, before I basically got stuck in this prison body. I, I don't want to believe that this is my life, that I'm just going to be in my bed and maybe make a YouTube video every now and then when my head's clear enough from the pain and that'll be it. I don't want this to be my life. I really very much want to be a functioning person who's, you know, has a healthier body. Like, I don't even want to be like you know looking like I'm like you know a fit inspo person or whatever I just want to feel I just don't want to be in pain in this body I just know where I've been at the last couple of years I don't want to be at anymore and so I'm trying I'm trying to follow my dreams yeah, um, by making small little changes and hopefully, you know, those small changes will add up to a bigger change over time. 
I, I, I ne I'm never going to give up on the idea that I could make something cool out of this YouTube channel. And you know how everybody has merch lines? I'd like to do like t-shirts and you know like cool like like sweatpants and like you know the SoCal Cali you know like style but like you know comfy laid back clothes that are you know you could lay around in your bed in kind of thing but they're also cool with like cool designs and stuff so you know I, I want to eventually be able to support myself and not have to rely on other people and um, that's hard. I can't work a normal job and everything. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and make it work. Cause I don't want to depend on, on my mom and Patrick forever. I don't want to depend on other people. I want to know that I can take care of myself in some capacity or another, you know? Yeah. I think that's weekly sushi. I hope that made a lot of sense to you. Let me know in the comments what you thought about my whole plan to do smaller goals that are more doable. And if you think that might work to build up to bigger goals. I guess the whole thing is, you know, me putting in the work and the whole point of picking like easier things that I could do. And, you know supposed to accomplish that i hope you guys liked sushi and the bed i know a lot of you guys probably spend a lot of time in your bed i'm trying to do sushi like be more active with it so hopefully it is weekly sushi <laughs> and we are getting together weekly and kind of talking about how we've been doing and feeling and whatnot or at least me and sharing our feelings or like how we've been doing with one another so we don't feel so alone in it because life is hard like I, I say that a lot life is really hard it doesn't matter who you are life is hard and it's difficult for everybody but I feel like it makes it easier when we're you know together in this when we're you know like I like I sometimes say you know we're all in this together yeah weekly sushi 2020 January moving on to February let's do this Boom. so yeah I'm gonna go but as always I'm sending lots of love to all the haters and the lovers because as we know maybe if the haters just made more doable goals like I'm trying to do they would accomplish their bigger goals see the bigger picture realize we're all in this together and be lovers like us. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go. But I love you. And um, I'll see you in my next Desert Mermaid ad adventure. Which actually, actually, I'm gonna have a vlog coming up for you guys. So make sure you're, you're subscribed and hit the notification bell because I do have a vlog coming. It is, uh, um, we're going out to the windmills. I take pictures. So I did get out of the house once, but Yes, vlog coming. Um, love you. And don't forget, there's videos here for you. Love you. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. <laughs>